So what about uh, you breaking character on SNL? Would he get mad? Because he notoriously doesn't like that. And I've read that you also were mad at yourself when it would happen. <laughs> but you also probably knew after a few times, like, this is genuinely funny because people love to see other people laugh. It wasn't even that. Like, I was laughing because I was laughing at the sketch. I, really, Lauren does not like that. He frowns on it. And, and so I was actually, I was, a, I was embarrassed that uh, I would do it. But... It was the first one that I laughed at myself was Cowbell. Mm -hmm. And it was a sketch that Will Ferrell wrote with Adam McKay. And it was about uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Um, Don't feel the re You know, that song. And it's like, there actually is Cowbell in that song. Yeah. So I think someone thought that was funny because they're kind of a heavy metal band. To have, have a Cowbell, an instrument in your classic songs, like, wait, is there a Cowbell in Don't Fear the Reaper? <laughs> so then we should do a whole sketch about how the producer would come in and go, like, that was fine. Stop, stop, stop. But. I, I kind of want more cowbell in the song. That would really make this a real classic. So they wrote this thing, and it was funny, but you know it wasn't that funny to be honest. And uh, it was it, so as much to say that it barely made it to air. It was going to get cut after dress. And Christopher Walken was the host. Horatio Sands was in it. Chris Parnell was in it, and Catan, Chris Catan. And so, and I was playing the drums. And so I was brand new. This is probably my first couple weeks on the show, and I thought it'd be really cool that no one would think to do is to hit the sticks before we before we started lip syncing the song so it goes like bow, bow, dee, dow, 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 dow. and I, you, I go like <laughs> then start lip syncing i'm like oh it's like a real but it's not it's like i'm not really lip syncing like that that, that was my that's all i really kind of cared about this is like i was happy i had any line i had one line in the sketch and then will ferrell was the he's the funniest man in the world all everybody and that sketch was funnier than i was and i Remember feeling out of my league and going, I don't know if I can play with these guys. They're too good. And Will had a shirt that kind of ended here. It was really <laughs> short. And every time he put his hands up to the, hit the cowboy, his belly would hang at the bottom. His muffin top, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he had like a scar. Uh -huh. He had like his appendix <laughs> taken out or something. So it was hairy. And uh, it was just, it used to just make me laugh. And then uh, when we did air, he wore a smaller shirt. So when he lifted his thing up, it was like wearing yes. a tube top. Like, yes. It was like insane. His whole gut was out, and he's dancing, and he's sweating at the time because he's going for it. On air, everyone went for it. Christopher Walken wasn't even talking like Christopher. He was doing like an impression of himself. He was going, like, you know, we got so high, more cowbell. Like, I was like, wow. It was like we were in outer space. The whole place was spinning, man. It was so, and it was hot because everyone was laughing so much. The whole room got hot. And I remember going like, oh my God, this is the funniest thing I've ever been part of. And, I, and then when I had my one line, Catan and Will like wrestled and did something, push each other. And Catan knocked Will's sunglasses off. And he looked at me and I saw like, the eyes of a crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> like looking at Charles Manson or something. I was like, and I just started laughing. And that was my only line in the whole sketch. And then I was the guy that laughed at his stuff. So was Lauren mad about that? Because I always find when someone laughs in a, in a sketch that funny... It's actually, it makes it funnier for, for the audience, at least from my perspective, because it's almost breaking like that fourth wall, like, hey, this is so ridiculous and funny that even I can't stop myself from laughing. He might be calmer now with it, but he didn't like it at the time. Really? Did he yeah. yell or was it just a stern No, he never to? yells. Yeah. Uh, he would probably be like, keep it together next time. You know, it's like, <laughs> you fucking you know, something like that. Yeah, exactly. And I was yeah. like, I, I knew it. I knew I messed up. But then like everyone knew right there that I was kind of an easy laugh. Right. So, I mean, especially Will would do it all the time. But, you know, Molly would play with me a lot. Molly would knew that she could make me laugh. But we were in a sketch called Lavas, where I would be a guy who would go in a random hot tub at a hotel and just try to relax. And then and then two creeps would come in and sit in the hot tub with me. Like, that would ever happen. It's a tiny hot tub. Yeah, yeah. So Will and Rachel Drafts were two creepy people, and they'd sit, and he'd bring, like, a turkey leg in with him and stuff, and, like, eat the turkey in the hot tub, and they were creepy people. And like, Ooh, we make love. <laughs> yes, sir. We make love all the time. Have you ever tried to make, you know, and, like, and then every time I opened my mouth, he would pinch me under the water. <laughs> he'd pinch my leg. <laughs> and make me laugh because he knew I was gonna laugh at him. And honestly, even to this day, he's the funniest guy ever. I I remember though, we did a weekend update once where me and Tina did update, and he did Jacob Silge, which is this character who suffered from a rare disease called voice immodulation, mm. where he couldn't change the tone of his voice. He couldn't go up or down. He just stayed at the same volume, and he couldn't modulate or have any expression of his voice. So he'd do this character all the time, and I was laughing so hard when the camera wasn't on me that Will would watch. He would see me laughing and shaking that he started laughing but he 
couldn't break, and his eyeglasses fog up. <laughs> never seen it done in history. It's, dude, never seen it happen ever. He was crying, laughing through the steam coming out of his eyeball. Yes. And it's on his best of, by the way. You can see uh, Jacob Silge. And I was like, that was because I was right next to him laughing so hard. But, uh, you know, Lauren would just say, like, hey, don't do that. And I tried not to do it. I'm better at it now. But, uh, I, you know, I see people do it now, and I go, oh. I was there, and uh, the writers don't appreciate it, and you know they think like you're taking away. You're trying to upstage everyone, but yeah, I really was. I just actually thought it was funny. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I appreciate that because I think laughing at it makes it funnier.